From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough with the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bop. What's up, everybody? This is D from Brooklyn, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tank lighting. I'm going to keep this short and simple because you guys are going to get your Christmas money and want to run out and buy lights. So in order to do this, we're going to talk about a few things. First and foremost, types of lighting. That's your LEDs and fluorescents. The differences between the two applications and what is it that you need to know in order to help you choose. So first... Let's look at T5s and fluorescents, the old school of the hobby. Basically, this is electricity passed over the coils to produce light. And the second will be LEDs, which is basically electrical current passed through a diode or a chip. Now, of course, LEDs are a lot more energy efficient, but fluorescents widely distribute light. Now, with everything being all about the LEDs, one thing people don't think about when picking LEDs is surface agitation. Reef tanks are different than fish only tanks. Reef tanks have a lot more surface movement, wave makers, and this affects how LED lights penetrate the surface. Now, since you have a lot more water movement surface clarity also affects how LED lights or fluorescent lights pass through the water. Now things to consider is if you have a lot more rock or a lot of plants, aquascape and tank structure greatly affect how light is received, especially at the bottom of the tank. So in either case, T5 or LEDs, the ability to make adjustments via dimming, or changes in the light structure, light can compensate for those first two factors. Yes, the ability to turn up or turn down the lights or increase the intensity should be present in either case. Now in planted tanks, you'll remember T5s were greatly used because we didn't need as many bulbs in order to light the whole tank. Now LEDs, since they shine light straight down, if you have a big tank, you have to realize in order to get light all the way to the bottom of the tank, you're going to need stronger diodes or stronger LEDs. So you don't want to run out and buy any old LED or the cheapest fixture on the market. You want to look at lighting that have various spectrums, either the red, blue, or greens. And you want to look at the ability to control, dim, or increase the light. If we're looking at my Dasunnies here, you'll see that I can put these lights on 50%. I can put some channels on 10%. These can be done with a wide variety of LEDs. But if you have a smaller tank versus a bigger tank, is a big difference in what kind of LEDs are used to hit that tank. Bigger tanks are going to need more LEDs to distribute that light while T5s can shine the light over a much wider area of the tank. So not saying one is better than the other, but you need to know that. So in all in all, either way you go, the happiness of the animals is the most important thing. You're going to learn by trial and error be realistic don't buy super high-end corals and then buy a cheap light fixture because it's not going to work same thing in a planted tank or coral different tank don't buy very high-end plants and then a cheap light fixture because at the end of the day you want something that's going to look nice and most importantly you're going to want happy animals so to cut it short this is d from brooklyn do your homework check your light fixture and keep your animals happy that's it